here is my 87 GMC Jimmy. Finally got my iFlip camera in the mail. It was shipped February 7th. It's now April 9th and I just got it. So FedEx took forever. But see it's got a aftermarket front grill, which I'm not crazy about, but it's alright. It was clean. Um, took it to Louisiana for family reunion, and where the, they have the reunion, you have to drive down the levee, and uh, it was kind of muddy, so it got dirty again. But I had actually washed it. No, I don't have the keys. I'll go get the keys. Alright, got the keys. And interior is nothing special. It's. the dash is kind of cracked. But, um. I don't know. I may get a, for now, get like a pad to put over it. Car seat for my son. I got the original spare tire holder from a junkyard. Um, so I could put, stand the spare tire up instead of having it just lay down. Didn't even have a spare tire when I bought it. Sliding rear windows, seat covers because the seats are all cracked. Off the hood. The hood gets stuck. Three fifty. Not sure how many miles are on it. The Blazer's got about. I think it's rolled over twice, as far as I can tell. Um, so it's got two hundred eighteen thousand. But the motor was rebuilt. See, it's got orange heads. And the guy told me he got it from his brother in California who bought it from the original owner in California got California emissions on it he bought it in 2004 from his brother drove it down here to Texas see right there it's, I don't know if you can read that but state of California It's got California emissions on it, which, you can see it's got a smog pump down there. AC doesn't work, but it's starting to get warm here in Texas, so pretty quick I'll probably fix the AC. The compressor's locked up on it. But, supposedly right before it came here to Texas, the, um, guy's brother had the motor overhauled um, and it does look like it's been overhauled so when I got it it was smoking really bad and it turned out the drain backs in the back of the head plugged up with crud um, it looks like the guy I bought it from never did an oil change to it but you see the orange heads and then Let's see if I can crawl up under it real quick. Let's see. The block. The block is painted nice and black. And it's got brass freeze plugs. So the motor has been overhauled. And it was probably, as far as I can tell, done in about 2000. 
three because it came down here in 2004. So I'll just believe what the guy says when he said his brother did it before he brought it down here. And now that I unplug the back of the heads, the drains, it doesn't smoke at all. It doesn't burn any oil. I've drove it quite a bit since then. And I've done an oil, a couple of oil changes since then. One right after just to, in case any of the crud fell down in there. But then I changed it again. It didn't burn any oil or leak. It's got a pretty bad power steering leak though. Transfer case also leaks. Leaks on the rear seal also leaks right there in the seal of the gasket where the transfer case separates into two pieces is leaking. But I've got this is a 208, I've got a 241 to put in it. The guy gave me, but I'm going to pull it down and make sure everything's good in it, all the bearings, and if I put new seals in it before I put it in here. Exhaust is not very good on it. It did pass emissions, but this muffler was horrible. You could uh, do that, and it would like, spit the, uh, the welds were all broke where the tube goes into the exhaust. And uh, I just kind of welded it up so it wouldn't. I mean, it still leaks a little bit, but it's at least solid. But somebody rigged the exhaust up. It's got three inch exhaust coming out of the Y pipe. And then they've got it reduced down right here. I don't know. This is probably maybe two and a half, but maybe even two and a quarter. And then going back out of the muffler, it goes back up to three inches, so it doesn't really make sense why they did it, but oh well. Just put new U joints in the rear drive shaft. Changed out the speedometer gear for the one that was in my 241 transfer case because this one was totally wrong for it. It was 20% fast, so I could peg the speedometer out. Um, according to the speedometer, it looked like I was going about 100, and I was really going, uh, no, I guess that would be about 80. Now, just swapping the gear out, it's still off, but it's only 10% off now, so a little easier to figure out when I'm driving. The tires are pretty good. When I got it, it had slick 32 inch good years on it and a uh, guy gave me these Pirelli's 31's and I bought those used about four of them for 40 bucks total these were the two best ones so the two best ones on it the floor as you can see is all cracked up but they've somebody at one time tried to weld it out and they've put there's a sheet metal on top that um, the seats are sitting on on both sides so there's no danger of it falling through but it's not real solid I'm gonna pull the carpet out weld up all these cracks and then probably put some little stiffer sheet metal and what they put in it and um, bolted in. It looks like they tried to weld it 